What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do an RKO edit in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this tutorial, if you would like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now here's an example of what you'll be creating. So hopefully you like it and let's get into it. Now in the description below will be this pack. Now after you've exported it, this is what you'll see. You'll see loads of Randy Orton pictures along with the sound effect with the commentators. Now after you've extracted the pack, this is what you should see. Randy Orton images along with the RKO out of nowhere sound effect, which is the commentary. Now you're probably thinking, Randy Orton's running, but we only have images. Well, I'm going to be showing you how to make him run and I'll also show you how to make him taunt. Now, if you're wondering why is there no videos because Randy Orton is running in the video, we only have images and I'm going to be showing you how to use them to make it look like he's running. So if you didn't guess already, the video I'm going to be using for this is when Robin Van Persie scored that diving header in the World Cup of 2014. So I can delete the audio because we won't need it and let's just play through what we have. So this is of course the default clip with nothing in it at the moment. Diving header like that and of course we can add a nice RKO onto it as well. So I'm going to split the clip there and I'm going to delete the remaining which we are not going to use. I'm then going to right click, select properties, disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio and select OK. Now what I'm going to do is find the part where I want Randy Orton to come as an RKO and RKO him. So right now I'm using the arrow keys. And you can see I'm just going across. And right here, I want him to come. So what I'm going to be doing... Okay, I just realised what I said. It could turn out wrong. I want him to come onto the screen to do an RKO. So I'm going to press M on my keyboard right here. I'm going to call this RKO. What this is going to let me know at this time is when he's going to be on the screen doing his RKO. And before that, I'm going to be adding some other stuff. So I'm going to right click here, insert a new video track. And the first thing I'm going to do is add on his stare. It's this one right here. So you'll see, it's literally just going to be there at the moment. But what I want to do, him to come underneath and rise up slowly. Actually quickly. So currently this is only 0.13 seconds. So I'm going to make it go at least a second. And the way we're going to do this is come to the event pattern crop. And this is what you'll get. Make sure sync cursor is checked and then come over here and make sure it's set to Y only. And I'll simply add a keyframe. So right at the end of the clip and then at the start, drag it up so he's off the screen. Now you'll see what this has created. He's going to come flying into the screen like that. Now what I want to do is actually come back to the event panel crop and move this last keyframe back a bit. So what this means, he'll be on the screen a bit longer actually staring at him. So if we play this through, just like that. Now if you want him to make him a bit smaller, then come to the event pan and crop, come to this one, and simply make sure lock aspect ratio is checked, drag from the left corner, and do that. Make him a bit smaller like that, if you want to. I'm going to leave him the same size though. Now I'm going to be done with this one, and I'm going to come here and actually call this RKO stare. I'm going to press enter and leave it there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add him running on to the pitch and running towards Van Persie. Now I'm doing this on a separate video track to this one so I'm going to right click here, insert a new video track and now I'm going to look for the part where I want him to come on the screen. Right here I'm going to have him run from the corner so uh, right there I'm going to get him running from the corner and slowly come up to here. So remember the two images Randy running left and Randy running right this is what you should get. Now it doesn't matter which order you drag him in, just drag him on and make sure it's on a new video track. Now to make him look like he's running, you need to make sure it lasts between 3 keyframes to 5 keyframes. Now I'm going to be doing 3 for this example, so as you can see we're currently set at 3. So we're going to come over to 6, we're going to press S on our keyboard and delete the remaining. Now we also need the other one to be set to 3 as well, so we're currently at 6. We're going to go to 9, press S and delete the remaining. Now, as you'll see, just like that, it looks like he's running. Now we're going to left click one, hold control, 
then press Control C, and then press Control V. This will paste it, just like that. And now let's see what we've created. He's basically running. And now we're going to position it. So of course we want him to come in from the corner, and we want him to run in towards Van Persie. So I'm going to just see something right now. Yep, it's good enough for me because he's going to be there. And we're going to position it and resize it. Now for this one, we're not going to be using crop. We're actually going to be using the track motion, which is this button right here. And I'm just going to move this to the side so you can see what I'm about to do. So again, sync cushion needs to be checked. Make sure you're at the very start here so you can see him. Make sure lock aspect ratio is checked. Also scale about center is checked. And now just make it smaller. Completely up to you what size you want. If you have this circle and it's in the way, just uncheck enable rotation. And I'm going to make him come in from up here. Now my video is constantly moving. So that means frame by frame, I'm going to need to position Randy Orton. So as you'll see, I'm just going to use the right arrow key. This is the next keyframe. Now with that being said, I want him to start running towards the ball or of course Van Persie. So I'm going to leave him there for now. I'm going to keep coming. And now I'm going to slowly bring him forward like that. And I'm going to be doing this key by keyframe by keyframe. And it's going to be like this, you have to be patient with this, and just keep doing this very patiently. So, let's play through what we've created. You can see it looks like he's running in, that's exactly what we wanted. So let's play from the beginning. We have Randy Orton staring, we have him running in, and of course now it's time to do the main thing, which is add the RKO. Now again, we're going to title this one, Randy running. I'm going to press enter and now again right click here insert a new video track and this video track is for the RKO itself. So right here is where we want Randy Orton to come in and there's actually two different RKOs. There is an RKO 1 and there is an RKO 2. For this I'm going to use an RKO 1 but it's completely up to you which one you use. As you'll see he's currently facing the wrong way and this is how we fix it. We need to come to the event pattern crop we need to uncheck lock aspect ratio and make sure size about center is checked. Now just come in from the side and drag it in and drag it out. And make sure you can see all of him like that. Now you can X out of this and now we have to position him. Again I'm going to be using track motion for this. So it's this button right here. Sync cursor needs to be checked, a very vital point in this one. So this is sync cursor right here. And now we're going to position him. So let's get into this. Of course we need to make him much smaller and let's just position him into the correct size and place. So I believe that is correct for me. Now you'll notice he's facing the wrong way. How do we rotate him? Well right here it says enable rotation. And now we're going to get this circle, just rotate him. Just like so and now we're going to position him onto his head like that. Now again frame by frame we need to keep positioning him. So next frame. You can see he's moving, but it's still okay, he's still in good shot. Next frame, he's moving a bit, so now we got to position him. So you left click here, and use the arrow keys to position him. Just like that. And we're going to keep going like this, frame by frame. So for this part, just have some patience, and keep going through slowly. Now I'm not going to cut this out on the edit, so you can actually see me do it frame by frame. And hopefully it will allow you to understand much better. Now again, this is where Sync Cursor comes into play because it allows us to go through the video and on this timeline at the same time. And you can see he keeps moving. I'm only using the arrow keys to stay accurate. If you want to zoom into this timeline here, just use the mouse wheel like that. And just left click here, next frame, next frame, he's gone down a bit. And we're just going to keep going like this until he has completely dropped to the floor. And you can see there is a big difference with that frame, so again we got to position him. And this is why you have to go frame by frame if your subject is moving quickly, or if you just want 100% accuracy, of course, frame by frame is the best way. And I think he has completely stopped. Just add a couple more frames. And now I'm actually going to end it here, like that. 
I'm going to shorten this down by coming to the end of the clip and just trim it right down like that. X out of this and let's play what we have. Just like that we've created the brand new Orton RKO effect in Sony Vegas. Now from here you can also come to the bottom, right click, insert an audio track and now we're going to drag on the audio. Now I believe we have to find where the RKO actually hits which means when he hits the floor which is there and I think on the audio itself we need to find where he actually hits the mat because you can hear when the uh, opponent hits the mat from the RKO so we're gonna play this through right here the opponent has hit the mat so I'm gonna position this into the correct place and right here for me. Now I'm going to play through it from the beginning. Just like that is how you do an RKO in Sony Vegas. Now what I'm going to try and add is actually his taunt along with his Randy Slithering. So I'm going to right click here, insert a video track and now this is going to be before the the uh, RKO itself. So I'm going to actually add it right here. I'm going to add on the Randy Slither, which is this. I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split and delete. This here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Only 10 frames long. And now I'm actually going to make him slide into the screen at this size. So I'm going to press the event pan and crop. I'm going to come here and select create a keyframe. Now at the very start you're going to zoom out, make sure scale of size about sensor is checked and lock aspect ratio is checked, come to the side and drag out like that. Now if we play this just this part through, as you can see he's gonna come flying in like that. And now I'm gonna add his taunt so I'm gonna come here and name this slither, enter, right click, insert a video and now I'm going to be adding in the taunt itself. So I'm adding in both taunts. And again, for this one, I'm going to make it two seconds, so or two keyframes. So one, two, S, delete. One, two, S, delete. Now I know there is loads of white outline. I will get rid of that when I come to giving you the pack. But for now, we're just going to have to deal with it. I'm just going to uh, copy and paste it. Come to the uh, track motion this time and I'm going to position it where I want it to be. So I actually want this to be right here. That is what it's going to do. He's going to do his taunt and then the RKO. So let's play this through. And that is how you do the RKO effect in Sony Vegas. Of course the clip is quite short so I had to rush the taunts in but that is how you use the taunt. That is how you do the RKO, that is how you do the slither, this is how you do the running, and that is how you make his face pop up like that. Now you notice I showed you making this on separate tracks for each different thing. Now the reason I done that, to show you that it's easy to do, and because we use track motion for example on some of them, it's easier to just lay out using it on a separate track, just like that. And remember use markers to your advantage to lay one down, just press M on your keyboard, and that lays one down. Just like that. So that is how you do the RKO in Sony Vegas. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when you post posting on what I'm posting. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I'll post four times a week. And finally check out my Snapchat or just see what I do throughout my day. So yes, it's been Casual Savage here, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and boost. Come <laughs> on.